All right, so last week I had to wipe this computer and I thought to myself, I should share this. I should document it and share it with you guys because I've had so many emails and comments over the years of people like asking, how do you set up your laptop? What do you do? What's your personal preference of setting this stuff up? And I thought, why not share it? Because this is just a clean and simple way of how I do it. And I know some of you guys are into that as well. So here we go. Right from the beginning, every device I get in, whether it's a review unit or something that I have for my personal use, I format them. Like I don't rely on Windows app removal system. I don't feel like it's clean enough. There's always some kind of bloatware that's just stuck inside. You can't truly remove unless you straight up format it. So I do that. And the next thing I do is I remove as much software as I can even after that fresh install. Like if there's an uninstall button, there's a pretty good chance that I'm gonna click it. Now after that, I usually install the kind of control software for the laptop. So because these are laptops and not desktops, you can't just rely on Windows Update to have all the software that you need. There's usually some kind of master control software from the manufacturer, like for Razer, it's their Synapse software. For Alienware, it's their I don't know, command center for Asus, it's their ROG software. There's usually something that you have to download to be able to have the full access of like performance and fan control and battery control. So I get it. Now, before, like a year ago, I used to try to run my devices without that even, but it's just too crippling. So yeah, I use it. And then after that, I install my regular software. So I use something called Ninite. It's a package management software. It just builds this installer that you can have your popular apps load up all at once. It's not something that everyone needs to use. It's like a mild time saver, but it's convenient. And then I'll install like Adobe products and whatever I would use for video editing. Now, the next step is that I actually go into these softwares and I do as much removal of automated processes as possible, particularly with Adobe. They've gotten really aggressive over the years of just like automatically doing stuff when you don't want it to do it. And I turn all that stuff off. And the same thing goes with other apps. I go into the kind of startup menu and remove everything that I can so it doesn't boot up with anything that I don't want. And it keeps the system fast, right? I don't have any app that loads at startup, not even Steam, not Discord, nothing. And it's just if I wanna use it, I'll load it up. And then I go into privacy settings. Now this is something personal to me. Obviously not everyone cares about privacy, but I try to do as much as I can to reduce what data I'm giving off to Microsoft. I know that I run Chrome and I think Chrome is like hemorrhaging data all the time to Google. That's something I have to live with. But in terms of what I sent off to Microsoft, over the past few years, they've gotten more and more greedy with what they're taking. So I go into the privacy settings and I turn off everything that I can. And I go into the background apps and I turn off everything that I do not use. So the end result is hopefully a system that is clean-ish. I know it's not like perfectly clean and I used to run scripts and stuff, but nowadays in 2021, I don't, I don't use stuff like C Cleaner. I don't use automated scripts. Like all that stuff is just, it feels like overkill. And I've busted a couple devices using software not so much software, but scripts. Yeah, I just, I stay away from that stuff when it comes to a device that I rely on uh, for everyday use. Now, in terms of the kind of software setup, that's the, that's basically where it ends. I try to keep it as clean and as simple as possible. Now, in terms of the aesthetics, I do spend a little bit of time on this stuff. Like, I don't think everybody should. This is just like a, a personal preference, but I do this centered icon, like the taskbar. So I switch between a Windows device and a Mac OS device really frequently. And I like my icons centered right in the middle of the screen. So I do this thing with the centered taskbar and because it's built into Windows, like you don't need any kind of third party application to do this. I'll explain it real quickly. It's like a good 30 second thing. You right click the taskbar, you go into the settings and you do three things. You unlock the taskbar, then you set its location to the bottom and then you set the taskbar buttons to have hidden labels. And then you wanna right click the taskbar again You'll go to the toolbars at the top, turn on the links, and then you'll see a links section appear on the right side of the screen. You wanna drag that over to the left, past the app icons, as well as turning off the titles on that links section. And then now you can freely move that taskbar left and right. So you slide it to the middle. You're gonna have to eyeball it here. There's no real guidance, but move it to the middle and then lock it back up. And then now you have this simple, clean taskbar that has a centered group of icons. And I like the look, it's not for everyone. I think it's gonna be a little bit disorienting for people who are used to just going to the left all the time. You might have to get used to this centered group of icons, but it's a nice look. Now, the last thing is this thing up here. So this is Rain Meter. This is a third party application. Now, years ago, like I wanna say like 10, 15 years ago, I used to run Rain Meter and it was a much more system 
taxing application back then. It's really lightweight now. So this is, I don't know, 11, 12 megs of memory and no, or basically no CPU usage. So this is just a simple date and time that I have running all the time. And yeah, that's my setup. Now I'm gonna go into more details in the description. Like I kind of glazed over a lot of stuff here because I feel like I don't wanna bore you in too much detail, but I'll go through it in a little more uh, specificity in the description down below. But if there's any questions you have about what I do and how I do, I'll try to go through the comments on this one. There you have it. This is how I set up my laptops in terms of my personal use. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. I'll see you guys next time.